Steve Dinham, thanks for joining us here at Epic. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about from your keynote, you mentioned about self-esteem, mm. where we've gone wrong in education and what we should be doing, and that included gifted and talented students mm. as well. Uh, can you just expand on that a little? Yes, we know that self-concept or self-esteem has a significant effect on student learning, but the mistake we've made is to try and boost students' self-esteem or self-concept artificially. And that doesn't work because mm -hmm. it, it gives a, a false impression that they're actually better at something than they really are. Um, the key to self-esteem growth and, and student learning is for every student to actually experience success. If they're getting regular feedback, developmental feedback as well as judgmental feedback, they're getting better and this is how you can get even better. They'll start to feel better about themselves and they will then um, that'll cycle into greater confidence, greater self-esteem and so on, and you get an upward cycle. Uh, so self-esteem boosting, avoiding uh, criticism of any sort, um, giving people a false impression of how they're going is actually counterproductive. Now in terms of, um, you mentioned gifted and yeah. talented, the key thing there is not to focus on the person's abilities and seeing those as fixed, you know, labelling someone as gifted and talented. What we need to do is certainly know who these people are through assessment, Challenge, stretch, motivate, recognise, do all of those sorts of things. But if you can possibly avoid it, avoid the labelling of gifted and talented because this implies their abilities are fixed. It's what we call entity thinking from the work of Carol Dweck. Um, we want to encourage people to actually continue to seek to know more, do more, not to think of themselves as having fixed ability. Mm -hmm. and, and of course the other thing you mentioned very mm -hmm. quickly was of course why don't we do this approach with all students? Well that's, that's right, I mean when we look at so. the things that are advocated for um, gifted and talented students there is an argument they should be given to everybody, mm -hmm. you know, the enrichment, the challenge, the recognition and so forth. But the key to all of that is assessment mm -hmm. and knowing students as learners and, learning, and knowing them as people as well so that we can then come up with the right approaches that are going to move their learning forward.